So today I'm actually starting to build my EG33. Um, I recently got back my new short block or refurbished short block from my machine shop where I had them install the crank and the bearings as well as the pistons. The pistons are molly coated on the side skirts. Alright piston rings. Get to know those sidewalls. So we do still have the factory cross hatching in the cylinders, which is nice. The engine actually didn't show much wear after the 130,000 miles that were on it. So this is what I'm going to be putting in my Impreza. Alright, so here I have the Subaru block and I have the first head sitting on top. I put the head gasket in and I'm about to do the torque procedure on the head bolts. Torque procedure when installing heads is very specific. Make sure you follow exactly what the factory service manual says. This particular engine has different length head bolts, so that means you need to locate the appropriate spot on the head for the appropriate length head bolt. Make sure to apply engine oil to your hydraulic lifters and also use assembly lubricant on your camshafts. Once you're done installing the camshaft caps, make sure you stay hydrated throughout the process. Once we have both the intake and exhaust camshafts installed, we can apply the valve cover gaskets and then install the valve cover itself. Once that's complete, you can install the other head, doing the same process all over again. Once you flip the engine over, it's a good idea to block off the intake ports so that no dirt or loose bolts can fall down in them. Next up we'll be installing the camshaft caps and the oil seal. So as I continue to put the EG33 back together, uh, I've just installed the oil pan baffle down here and also the oil pickup. And I was kind of glancing over at the other engine that I have, which is conveniently still assembled. And it's actually not very complicated. There's just one O-ring under here that I had to install from my gasket kit and no real big deal. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the cleaner of the two oil pans which I have. Here's the old one right there and I've got my freshly painted oil pan right here that I'm about to install. So let's put it on and see how it looks. So I've got some Permatex Ultra Black here and the key is maximum oil resistance so on the oil pan you wouldn't want the oil to eat away at your gasket so this is the stuff I'm gonna use so anytime you're doing uh, engine stuff it's nice to have the factory service manual uh, which I do here and I'm gonna look at the fluid packing technique that they highlight here basically just says apply fluid packing to machining surfaces and install the oil pan so 
that is what I'm going to do. Now carefully install the oil pan without getting any of the RTV where it's not supposed to be. Shiny. Wow. Sweet. Once we've got the oil pan all bolted down, we can go ahead and install the oil pump. So with the oil pump installed, that completes the first round of building our EG33. So in just a few short weeks, we went from a bare short block to a fully assembled long block. Stay tuned to Easy On Cars to see what happens when we drop the H6 into the Impreza as well as see how our hand is being forced by induction into considering aftermarket ECUs.